For sure he's not a ghost. He's not a ghost. Is he? Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season 9 episode 6 of One Tree Hill. This time the title of the episode is Catastrophe and the Cure. And yes, here we are. Here we are back and ready for a new episode of One Tree Hill. Uh, we're in episode 6. Uh, can we say, well, not technically halfway through, well, technically halfway through, uh, the season, um, but yeah, yeah, I can't believe that after this we have just, like, seven more episodes, uh, to go, uh, and that will be all for Winter Hill, but yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the, the ride, I, I'm liking certain storylines that I, you know, I, I, that I like better than the other ones, but it's always a good balance, you know, I always, like, uh, Winter Hill does, uh, you know, it, 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 Winter Hill is always able to tell stories for pretty much a lot of their characters, you know, um, and stay consistent, which is something that it rarely happens now on TV with, you know, shows like Riverdale or Supergirl or things like that, that really are just a mess and can tell a, a story beyond telling just the uh, lead actress story. Other than that, that's it. But here you have an ensemble cast, you know, and it's great because you can have, you know, uh, multiple things happening at once and that is always a good thing because you don't get bored, you know, so... Uh, I'm excited for this episode. I hope you guys are excited as well. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. You can go right now to Patreon and watch the full uncut extended version of this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link as always will be in the description down below. And I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. And I think that's about it for now. Without further ado, let's just begin with season nine, episode six of One Tree Hill. Here we go. You know that mommy was just protecting daddy, right? Yes, and we love mommy right? for that. You guys believe me, don't you? Of course you do. Yes. They're so cute and adorable, just like their parents. Oh my God, what happened? It's okay, it's just a bar fight. I slept on the couch. A bar oh. fight? Doesn't even hurt. Yeah. Let me see. It looks like... Okay, it hurts a little. Why don't you ask Nathan what happens in bar fights? Did you even think for one yeah. second about your family when you did this? That's all I've been thinking about. Yeah, but like that reckless behavior. What if that guy kills you, sweetheart? Like it's like, yes, I understand the guilt that he feels, but he really needs to see what the future holds, you know? And like them growing up without a parent. Or with him, you know, or something like what happened with Nathan happens to him. Like, that, that's gonna suck, man, you know, so. Nice work, detective. You caught me. What's it take to be a trio cop these days? Pen? <laughs> Look at him. This is the part where they charge me and release me. I know he's right. Why you should only but the thing is, like, it's very out there, you know? That he will do, that he will harm Nathan after what he did to 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 Keith. Do you really, and like all the things that came after and how he has changed and how awful he feels about what he did? Do you really think he will hurt Nathan? I don't think he will hurt Nathan. But look, I'm not getting my hands on in you know putting my hands on fire for him. But I don't think he killed Nathan or kidnapped Nathan or he did anything bad to Nathan. Indirectly, it might be because of the drug dealers, but not directly. Handicapped space. He probably just got lost or something. We're gonna find him. He was kidnapped. We're gonna find him. Oh, promise. Jamie. Oh, 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 my child, my son! Who did this to him? It's the drug dealers. I can't see shit. It's a drug dealer, right? 
Who is that? <gasps> the fuck you doing with my son? The fuck are you doing with my son? I swear God, I'm gonna fight this guy. From this time forth, my thoughts be bloody. Will be nothing worse. What? <laughs> I don't get it. I, I don't understand. What is happening? Why did he just quote it? Who who did he just quote? Lucas? Look, if you want to kidnap Lucas, <laughs> be my kid. No, I'm kidding. Don't kidnap anyone. Let's bail. She can find her way out. Wait, are you serious? She has known me. She's just lucky I let her stay the night. That tramp. Damn! <sighs> Dude, you're colder than Chris Keller. Yeah, this is stupid. This is stupid. See, see, see what I was telling you about the parts that I like about One Tree Hill? The parts that I'm not really into. That whole thing. I'm not into it. Now, the, the kid ghost that I'm into. <laughs> I want to find out. Or is this like a part of his imagination and it's really him, you know, the lost kid or something like that? <sighs> but if it's a ghost... I didn't sign up for the hunting of One Tree Hill. Okay. Why do you come here? <laughs> okay, Captain Subtle. I He's so don't really cute. like to talk about it. Not even with your doctor? Not really. Then you're going to be here for a long time. <laughs> like that old man. Give me my son back. Why are you... Ah, <laughs> I learned English from Shakespeare. What do you want? Oh, that was Shakespeare? So I'm here because I tried to sign someone. Signing is stealing! And we don't care for thieves. Oh, okay, this one. We have to set example that our interests is not to be touched. Who did he try to sign? You, my friend, <laughs> are that example. I'm Once going to murder you guys. The other. You're a dead man over a oh. basketball player. You take his best player, you take his money. You take his money. We take your life. Are you Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're doing this because he's doing his like honest work. I, I swear God, I'm about to fight this guy. <gasps> I really thought I was gonna be connected to the what Dan did. Okay. This is my son. It's okay. You're gonna be okay, I promise. I'm crazy? I'm not the one who put that horrific note on my husband's car. Yeah. And I'm not the one that left a baby in it. <gasps> now, if you excuse bitch. me, I have a packed cafe to run. This is not over. Looks over to me. I swear I got this bitch. How dare she? I need you at the house. He's my son. I love him. I love Jamie. I love you. I would never hurt my family. It's my family. Again. And you <laughs> have. I had nothing to do with it. You have to believe me. I don't believe you, Dan, because if it wasn't you directly, it was because of something you've done. What did you do to my dad? No, no, no way. Jamie, it's not like that. No, you're a liar. Just bring him back. I'm sorry. Yeah, you are. I want you to stay away from my house and stay out of our lives. <sighs> oh, shit. Well, it's not like, it's, you know what, it's not like I'm gonna say, oh, poor Dan. I mean, this is all, <laughs> you know, it has everything to do with the fact that he did what he did and like, right? It's just his own karma, you know, but it's so bad that at least this time it seems like he has not done anything bad and yet he gets punished once again. Can you watch the cafe? Can you just, so I know that it's in good hands and I don't have to think about it? Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, anything. I mean, there's no one there, so I can handle it. You've been through a lot, you and Yeah. I. We'll get through that. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Because my son is going to be A-OK, -okay, you know? A lot of people go through crap, but they don't wake up on merry-go-rounds. A lot of people don't watch their wife die in front of them and then get shot point blank by a woman who looks like her either. That's very true. That doesn't happen every day. It's just trauma. 
And I think maybe it's hard for you to admit that you need more help than most people. You think somehow it diminishes you. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. I'm glad that they're, they're talking about, about those things, you know, Ethan. because it's so important to like, and I, I, I give them more kudos to them for doing it because this show is not airing right now, you know, uh, and right now, you know, mental health is such a, you know, subject that you need to talk about. And some shows do it right. Some shows don't do it right. And for Wonder Hill to have tackled this, you know, a few years back is very important, especially because that word that he just said, as someone who struggles with mental issues, you know, uh, anxiety and trauma as well, um, is very important, you know, because you do feel like, oh, like, why can't I just, you know, just do it? Everybody goes through shit and like, it's okay to need the help. It's a hundred percent okay to need the help. And that doesn't make you anything you know, it doesn't make you less than anything if you need the help. I think it makes you even braver to ask for the help that you need. You know, in a war world where, where that is such a bad thing, you know. I, I think it's just brave. And I think it's a brave thing what Clay is doing. When I play this, it feels like he's right here talking to me. But what if it's the last time I see him? No, don't think that way. Do not me. think that way because it's not the last come... time we're gonna see my child and his family together. No, no, Jamie, your dad is going to return. I'll make sure of it. Back from. I'd milk every penny I can get. What are you talking? <gasps> no talking. He touched my child. This man must die. Where is Dan? I, I really hope Dan goes on a killing spree and kills his motherfuckers. I don't care if he goes to jail for like 300 years. He must do it. <laughs> I'm condoning murder right now. <laughs> oh. Oh. I went and saw him when I had problems with Katie and he talked me out of doing something really stupid. Are you saying that you trust him? No, I just... There's a lot worse people to have in your corner in a crisis, Haley. He knows people. Yeah, which is exactly why I don't want him anywhere near my family. And neither should you. It's understandable. You know, she wants to find someone who's guilty. He's guilty. I just wanted to see if you needed anything. Because I was angry at myself for leaving one of my infant sons in a hot car. So you let yourself get beat up. If I let someone kick my ass every time I did something stupid, I'd be unrecognizable. <laughs> that is very true. Take that, talk, Dan. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> imagine his face. Just imagine his face. <laughs> no wonder your sons love you so much. If I let you help me, who are you gonna be looking for? Nathan or yourself? Ooh, shit. Oh. oh, no, no. Oh, look Where are you going? Are you leaving? Oh, goodbye, little ghost. You could have said some. Oh, look at you. He's so adorable. For a ghost, he's so. For a ghost, he's so adorable. Let's be real. Because most ghost kids are creepy. But he's adorable. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's not a ghost. But, like, I, I'm not gonna trust this right now <laughs> figures that little tramp would be doing you and chase at the same time what chase uh, and tara why would you think chase and tara would oh shit come on oh crap <laughs> sorry oh shit chase is doing tara yep oh Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> the realization for him. Clay? No, he's also a ghost. <laughs> hey! Is it Clay or hey. his... Where are you going? I know you. Yes, it's me, Quinn. I don't know you. What? It's me. It's Quinn. Hey, it's me. It's uh me. No. It's okay. Aww. It's okay. Oh, no. He, it's like his... Oh. What the hell are you doing helping my competition? 
Why the hell are you sleeping with my best friend? Oh! Yeah. Oh, shit. Listen, Chris. It's it's not where you... Uh, oh! What the hell was that? <laughs> yeah, I would have punched you, except I don't want to hurt my guitar hands. So yeah, just, good, uh, good. Consider yourself punched. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're right. I, I deserve whatever the hell that was. <laughs> it was a kid. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, this... But I, I just... I love I'm sorry, you. Okay. I love you. I, I knew better, and I swear, God, they could kiss right now. I'm sorry. This is so gay. <laughs> kiss. <laughs> you and Tara. What about you and me? <laughs> we love your house, and we want to shoot it for a movie I'm directing. Can we see inside? I've always wanted to be in the pictures. Please come in. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you can't, like, no one can deny anything when he has that smirk in his face, that beautiful smile, even though he, like, he's been bitten up, like, the smile is everything. It opens doors, man. It is what it is. You okay, Mom? I am not my money. I know we're gonna find him. Yes, we will. The hell we will. Of course we are gonna find him. Oh, I'm pretty sure he didn't do anything. <laughs> this is the investor. Yeah. <laughs> What's left of him? For him. My husband was blackmailing you. What do you want? My son's missing. Oh, we had nothing to do with yeah, that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not the masterminds behind As this. As you can see, we have bigger problems. It's for you. Take my money. Get rich. You're their only link to this. Eventually, they're gonna find a reason to kill you, too. Say the word. You either work for the man or you be the man. When are you gonna be the man? I am the man. Say the You're word. You're the man's bitch. Come on, be the man. Say it. Enough. <laughs> Enough. Oh Phone my God. rings. What was to say? Phone rings. We get rich. I'm here to kill a man. Oh, my God. Don't make me kill, too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm freaking out. I'm really freaking out right now. I'm freaking out right now. I'm freaking out. Nothing is gonna happen to Nathan. I hate you. Oh, the fuck are you doing? Put that down! Oh my god. We talked it over. Now I'm going to ransom you. Who is man? Who is bitch now? Bitch! <laughs> The fuck? Okay, okay, there this must be the most stupid Russians we have ever witnessed on TV, but okay, that's better for us, you know? We're gonna pay all the money we have. They went to a strip club, so I'm sure you'll see them when you get there for your shift. <laughs> One bajillion eight. Hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. See you tomorrow. It is so fitting though that a story about him refusing to tell a story about Nate, you know, back when he lost his job and now doing a story to try to save Nate is what could potentially get him back, you know, into his dream career. I think that's pretty awesome. I thought you left because you didn't like me. Oh, what? no. You're my best friend in here. Hey, can we read more X-Men tomorrow? Does Wolverine have adamantium claws? Oh, man. <laughs> cool. Hey, maybe that other you is a secret identity. Yeah. That would pretty much be the coolest thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, don't tell anyone, okay? I won't. It's our secret. I promise. He's so cute. <laughs> Pretty sure he's not a ghost. He's not a ghost. Is he? You're a good father, Julie. You're going to be a good father. Go on. Go inside, kiss your wife. Do something I can't. Hug your sons. Cause trust me, I'd give anything to be able to do that again. Dan is like that wake up call for everyone in this town, right? The things that you don't want to do to become him. You don't want him on baby, look at that, I'm so proud of him. Everything's come. It's so pretty, goddamn. Maybe it's something. Yeah. I'll check it out. Anything I can do? Yeah. Go with you on the carbs. 
You don't have to be an ass. Do you, you have to make a joke about it? And all the all the terrible things that he has done. That's not the worst, right? So you're just charging them more to kill me. Well, at least you bought yourself some more time. Oh my god. But yes. Either way. Oh Jesus Christ. We're still going to kill you. Yeah, no, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> oh. Are you walking? <gasps> oh. <laughs> I need <Everything> you're walking. <laughs> Record her so Nathan can see you later. Everything's come. Don't back. Haley, don't Same cry, way. don't cry. I don't wanna cry tonight. I don't wanna cry tonight. Okay guys, so that was the end of season uh nine, episode six of One Tree Hill. We finally on this episode find out uh the reason why my son, my child, love my life, Nathan Scott is kidnapped. Apparently, he crossed some, you know, um, criminals in Europe and they decided to come to Tree Hill and kill him because he was, you know, signing off uh, uh, players there and he was not supposed to do that or something like that. I don't know. Very fishy things, you know, going on there. I really thought, and I I think it could have been a, li a little bit better if this story of who has him kidnapped it comes, you know, directly um, from something that Dan did. Uh, but I guess we can continue putting more blame onto Dan, you know, even though right now he is, um, you know, he's doing good. <laughs> he's trying to, you know be there for his family and actually, you know, not being a decent guy, decent, uh, guy. So I was like, okay, but I really thought the drug dealer thing, it has something to do with Dan. Turns out it has nothing to do with Dan. You know, Dan even thought that. Haley's thinking that, that it has some, in some ways connected to him, but apparently it, it, it has nothing to do with him. I, I think that's both good and bad because, you know, it's bad because it comes out of nowhere for us. Yes, we have seen that he's been, you know, scouting uh, in Europe and things like that. I understand that part completely. Uh, but it's bad because it, it, like, we didn't really see it coming, I think. Um, but in a certain part, is good because now it cannot be blamed onto Dan once again, you know, because... Um, I don't know if we are in the redemption arc uh, uh, for Dan. I don't think we could have a redemption arc. Um, but this is as close as it might get of a redemption arc for someone like him, you know? Um, so that is a good thing, I think, you know? Um, but the the Russians, this Russian uh, killers are just like are very laughable, in my opinion. Um, I don't know, because, like, when I think Russian killers or Russian assassins, I think of Villanelle on Killing Eve, and that is my standard now, from now on, and, like, that is my... Uh, that is the bar where I, you know, <laughs> measure any other. Um, um, so I'm really like, ah, eh, you know... These guys are a joke, <laughs> in my opinion. But it's very dangerous. That doesn't mean that I don't feel scared for what might happen to um, him, to to Nathan. I am very scared of what might happen. I I, I don't want to. I don't want to have to find out about it. Um, well, in the sense of like nothing bad. I don't want to find out about anything bad that happens to Nathan. You know. Um, but I think that since these guys are not really, you know, I don't know. I don't take them serious. I don't, you know, it's just that I don't think, here. here's the thing. I don't think the writers will be stupid enough to just go and kill Nathan Scott on the final season of One Tree Hill. Like, I don't think they will do such a thing, you know. So for me, it's like, 
No, they're not going to do that. Are you crazy? No, they're not going to do that. So since I don't believe they're going to do that, I understand the dramatics behind it. But I just don't think that he might get killed, you know. So I'm pretty sure that he's going to be safe. Because if he gets killed, I will, like... I, I like I love One Tree Hill so much. And I don't want to put this show on the list of shows that I loved, but then ended up hating. Like, I don't know, Parallel Liars or something like that, you know. So they better don't touch <laughs> my son if they don't want me to start ranting about One Tree Hill. Though that will be the only bad thing I could say about it, you know, if they harm my child, my child in any way. But no, that's not gonna happen. I am hopeful, but it just breaks my heart that um, that um, Haley is, you know, going through this and that he is scared. You know that she is scared. You know about what might happen. She doesn't. She doesn't have a clue on where her her husband could be. And like, you know, she has to take care of her house still and her her kids. You know, on top of this, she has a cafe, which yeah, Brooke is taking care of. But she has you know a lot of things going on at the moment. And on top of that, she has to worry about the fact that Nathan. You know, she wants to be strong and positive because of of her kids, you know. But I don't think that is illogical to think that she has not thought, oh, maybe something actually bad is going to happen. And now the police is going to look around the, uh, the airport to see if he's hidden there or if he's dead. People in the town have been looking for him. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really, I'm really... Uh, it, it, it has to be a lot for Haley at the moment, you know? Um, but anyways, what else happened? What else happened on the episode? Let me see, let me see. Um, yeah, well, Dan thought that uh, someone who was blackmailing him could be behind this. But no, the guy is like barely breathing, so it's, it's not him. Um, I do like, like I said during the reaction, is that... You know, something like, you know, coming full circle with the fact that Mouth lost his job because he was defending Nathan, you know, back when the whole thing with the baby and, you know, the one time I didn't trust my son fully. You guys remember that time. Um, but yeah, so it would be like completely like full circle for him if, um, if, 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 what was I saying? If Mouth finds the story, finds this, and actually, you know, reports on something as major and as important as getting Nathan back. So I think that is very, uh, I think that's really good storyline. Like, I could use, like, that whole thing about him getting, like, he's overweight and things like that. It's just, it feels like it's just the joke of the series, like, of the season. That is the joke of the season. And it's so wrong, you know? And, like, so out of place. And, like, that really didn't land it well. And at least nowadays it's just, like, the fat shaming is just awful. Um, but the thing is that we could have deal with all of this without that storyline. It's completely unnecessary. And I think it's just, like, it's the last arc for Mouth. And it's that, you know, and I'm not the biggest mouth fan, but like, come on, dude, you know, the guy's, he's, he's been here for like, since forever, you know, I don't think, I think he deserved a little bit more than that. Um, but yeah, hopefully we, we get to see a little bit more of him and in a different way with other things, you know, for him, like to actually start working out and being healthy. I think that will be better than what we're getting right now, you know? Um, but yeah, he found out about, you know, him, like, maybe looking for other players that he wasn't supposed to and, like, gave uh, Dan a lead to uh, who might be after, you know, who might be behind uh, Nathan's disappearance. Uh, so I really hope that he could... Um, that he will find him, you know? Um, is... is Dan doing this for completely selfish reasons to just get back to his family, to have a family. Um, 
I don't know, but I, I think a part of him wishes that if he finds him and when he's okay, maybe Nathan will see him with different eyes. Maybe, you know? Um, but I don't think that is 100% the only reason why he's doing this. It's just, I have no doubt. Just like I have no doubt that Dan is Dan and he will always be Dan until the day he dies in the way he is. I'm pretty sure and like I could say 100% that he loves Nathan more than anyone in this world. I mean, he might not love Lucas. He might not even remember Lucas. <laughs> but he loves Nathan, okay? I don't know if that makes him a, a good dad, a terrible dad, whatever. Um, I don't I don't know. That's up for discussion, I guess. Uh, but he does love Nathan. And he wants to have his son back so he can be with his family. I don't think that he will do that to... And also, he loves Jamie, you know? And he will not take his father away from him. Just maybe, like, maybe season one Dan, you know, will say, you know what, let's just move on. But, like, not even that, you know? Because always, even though he has been a terrible person, we always know that he does love Nathan, right? Like I said, we can question his love for... For Lucas, but we can really question his love for Nathan. He loves Nathan, you know. So, but I don't know if it's a hundred percent selfless the f the fact that he wants to find him because I think that it's still like in a small percentage. It's because like maybe if I find him, maybe if I save him, maybe if I, you know, maybe he will give me the chance to be around his family. Maybe you know, and that little maybe might be a motivator, not the entire you know, thing, but it might be a motivator for him to continue with this look, you know. Um, anyways, it, it, like I said, Haley has every right to not trust him. I understand. Haley needs someone who is guilty of this right now. She needs to point a finger to someone. She needs to know, you are the one who has taken my husband away from me. And for her, it's easy to do it with Dan. So, She's doing that. I don't I don't blame her. You know, she has every reason to not trust him. You know, every reason. So, of course she's going to do it. And since she's going to do it, do that, Dan is just going to have to, you know, just take it, you know. Um and he does in a way. And I don't blame, like I said, I don't blame Haley at all. Um then we have the whole Chase Chris drama and Tara drama and I'm like couldn't care less about that <laughs> I really couldn't care less it's just like so annoying unless you're giving me Chase and Chris who I'm shipping because reasons I don't need reasons to ship them I just do <laughs> I just I think that could be cute you know like imagine Chris Keller and, and Chase like I think it could be amazing I don't know Maybe. I don't know. I know they're trying to be bros and whatever. And they're completely straight. But who knows, you know? I don't know. They're not, they are not. don't have good luck with women. <laughs> Maybe not. But hey, I can shoot whatever the hell I want. And Chris Keller and Chase, whatever his last name is, it could happen. <laughs> It won't happen, I know. But um, I'm really not interested. Like, the only thing that picked my interest in it was because, like, I saw it, like, this is very gay. They're being very gay. <laughs> I know it's because Chris is like, oh, I have never had a best friend, and you're my best friend. And, like, I'm like, dude, really? I think you love him. But anyways, uh, it's not happening. They're both straight, allegedly. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but like, that is the only thing I was like, okay, maybe I can root for them because they're gay. But since they're not and they're in a love triangle with this woman who I don't really like, I couldn't care less about Tara, you know? And that is, you know, not that the actress is doing anything wrong or, you know, the character is wrong. It's just that it's the last season of the show and you have a new character and it's just annoying, you know, because you have to put so much time on that character which is so unnecessary because I couldn't care less you know so I this whole drama thing is just annoying me and it's just like I don't need it I could live without it you know so whatever um but 
Uh, yeah, I don't have any bugs because I, I don't, I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> I really don't. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, Chris uh, was singing on this on this episode. It was great because he has a beautiful voice. It was great. Um, and yeah, I, I don't have anything else to say about that. The the other thing is Julian and his you know continued necessity to you know beat himself beat his beat his himself up for what happened and it's understandable like i said but he does need to think about the future you know the fact that he got beaten up and didn't fight back like you could have died what if the guy had a gun he was on like on drugs and he just shot you like let's be real or like you could have an accident like the one nathan had like come on you you i understand hundred percent that he feels guilty and I feel terrible that that happened to him but you have to get back up you know you have to because you can keep regretting and feeling guilty and then continue to do making mistakes in the long run you know because at the end of the day yes it happened but thankfully nothing bad happened to them they don't even remember what happened that day and you can't continue being a good father from now on you know, double check if there's someone <laughs> on the back of your car. Other than that, I mean, there's nothing else you can do to, you know, erase what happened. You're never going to be able to do that. You just need to keep going forward, you know. Um, and I hope that, that that he understands that, that he needs to continue doing um, better, you know. Hopefully he does now. Um, anyways. What else happened? Clay and Logan, the ghost. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the kid is not a ghost. Um, but we haven't seen the kid interact with anyone other than Clay. So I'm going to go with either he is a ghost or number two, he is... Um, he is like a, a, a representation of... Clay himself, you know, when he was a kid. And when he's doing the talking to the little kids, actually him, like a metaphor, like him talking to himself, you know? But Logan doesn't actually exist. And it's Clay. Do I have something? <laughs> Probably not. Probably he's just a random, but like a random kid that lives at a, a at a psychiatrist facility because his parents die i mean isn't there's child services for that you know he wouldn't be leaving there so it's like something doesn't add up so he said there are ghosts or a representation of clay himself i don't know either of those two things but i'm going with the he's not real ralph maybe if, maybe if i see him interact with someone else Maybe I will like be with be like oh yeah he's real, but I don't think we have seen him interact with anyone else. I mean the doctor did say oh Logan is here because he lost his parents so he you know spent some time here and I'm like really or are you lying and telling me telling him so he feel comfortable talking to this Logan, but it's actually you know just a coping mechanism for him. Right? Maybe maybe it is. I don't I, I don't know. Um but yeah, Logan is so cute. For a creepy ghost, he's not creepy at all, you know, which I'm glad because he didn't sign up for a creep if he starts saying like what was the thing that that kid said on on the on Bly Manor? It's perfectly something she said like that. She, he starts saying something like that i'll be like child be gone <laughs> i swear if he starts saying you're perfectly splendid or something like i'll be like ghost be gone <laughs> i'm pretty sure he's not a ghost um it's something deeper right but i do love the storyline with clay i think you know it's one of my favorite storylines of this season, Clay's storyline, because it's so real, you know, um, him dealing with a mental uh, uh, issue, 
and going through it and like we're witnessing you know even when he has those this those moments where he is not himself i wish i could know how to pronounce that word because it will sound really fancy but since i cannot when he he's that other person when he's not himself um i love that they are doing it they're showing us uh and uh uh It's very important, I think. It's it's it just shines a line on on mental issues that is very important. And like it for for instance, today that holds so well, you know, is and it's done so well. And I, I like that. I, I, I think that's just a wonderful storyline. Of course I hate the storyline with Nathan and Haley because I just want them to be happy, you know? But it's a good storyline as well. But out of all the storylines, the Clay storyline is the one that I'm like most looking forward. You know, because with Nathan I'm like, just let him go. Because I need my, my child to be with his family again. I don't need this crap. You know, but with Clay I wanna find out more. I wanna know more about him. Uh, and I think that is that is cool. But now we 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 saw something that triggered him, which is you know this anxiety of not knowing where where Nathan is. So it is a clue to find out what triggers him. Uh, stress might be a trigger, you know. Uh, fear might be a trigger. So we're kind of figuring shit out. So that's good. That's good. Um, but yeah, this was a great episode. I really loved it. Um, and I cannot wait to watch the rest. And I know that you guys will love for me to just dive in and like watch all remaining episodes. But I, I'm liking taking my time with it. At least you can expect at least two reactions per week. Um, and that's the, the rhythm I want to take with it. Um, because I just don't want it to be over so fast, you know? So a couple of reactions per week, I think it's, it's what I can handle emotionally. And that is the way I want to say goodbye to, uh, Winter Hill. So I hope you guys are okay with it. Um, cause yeah, I just love the show and I, I don't think that right now that we're like in the final episodes, I don't think that there is any rush to go through the episodes. I know that you guys will want it, but I just need to, I'm also a fan, I need to enjoy them at my own time, and like, that is the best plan I have come up with. Um, so for now, because maybe in the last four episodes, I'm like, yeah, I can't wait and I'll watch them all. I, who knows? Yeah, you know, I, I, I change my mind every two seconds, so for now it's two episodes, but we'll see what happens after. Um, anyways, So a few more days, couple of days, three days, I should be posting another reaction. So stay tuned for that. Um, but thank you to everyone who is supporting my reactions, who is watching them and supporting them. Uh, you guys are amazing. I hope you guys enjoy and continue supporting for more. So give it a lot thumbs up if you love One Tree Hill. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Go to Patreon to watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. By the time I'm posting this, I'm already done with the entire series. So go and check it out. That is the good thing about uh, watching it on YouTube is that I already have all the episodes there so I can edit. Um, so in case you guys want to uh, check that out, link in the description down below. If you're on Patreon, you do have to wait a couple of days uh, after I po post this to get a new episode. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you to everyone who's supporting my reactions. You guys are amazing. Let me know if you also guys ship Chris and Chase. Or am I the only, you know, extremely annoying one who does this kind of things? <laughs> Let me know. Uh, anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for One Tree Hill. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys. <laughs>